What's going on YouTube? It's Ayo Richie and I'm back with another video. I know I just dropped a video about Eddie and you know punishing it a few things, but honestly, it's, it's just not enough, is it? If it's giving me hell, I know it's giving everyone else hell as well. So we're gonna look at some of this character's stuff and try and formulate some kind of uh, strategy against Eddie because this character is doing a lot of stuff in this game and he seems a lot different uh, than in Tekken 7 because obviously, you know, how we deal with Relax has changed since he's uh, he can block in Relax so by just pressing back and obviously down back to block low, you know, you get the point. So when they do a move like back 3-3, three, three, they're minus 14. So we can punish it with back 2, 1 plus 2 and stuff like that. But I want to talk about some other situations that we really need to get the hang of dealing with. So I'm going to set them up now so we can deal with Eddie in Tekken 8. Or at least give ourselves a chance. So this move here. Sorry, wrong button. This move here, this low, is so ridiculous. Like, I know everyone is getting hit by this low and they just feel helpless because he's plus six. What option do we really have? We're gonna find out what options we have because this is it's getting ridiculous. So let's do the heat engager. So mid mid minus 13. Okay, the block stun's weird, so I can't get an easy punish on that for some reason. Again, no punish. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so the second you block it, you can input your punish. Okay. So it's not one of them moves that kind of lingers on block. You have to just punish it straight away. Okay, now what happens if we heat burst? Let's go again. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so heat burst as a defensive mechanism is viable. Only because you get a float combo. If you didn't get this float combo, then I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend it at all. So yeah, we got heat burst, cool. Uh, let me see something actually. Okay, never mind, never mind. Yeah, never mind. Alright, so this low itself is minus 13. Leaves him leaves him crouching so we can't punish him up forward one two. But whilst sending one plus two into uh well you don't really need lightning glare, I guess you can punish with this and then take your plus frames, which is pretty strong. I don't do it enough. Honestly, whilst sending one plus two, like by itself, and not using um, lightning glare. It's kind of important when you really think about it. You're plus twenty-two, you get a free down two, or a free dash uh, down back one plus two as a mix. Or you can just do crouch dash mix as well. So uh, yeah, that's pretty strong. So you need to punish this effectively. Obviously, you have the heat engaging while sending four one plus two as well. So yeah, just get used to punishing this. Uh, okay, so there's that. There's also a mid high version. Um, mid high string to think about as well obviously the heat engager obviously mid mid so obviously straight away you're going to be thinking about oh i don't want to duck really but let's figure out what the the mid high string is because this has been giving eddie players a lot of life as well so let me see two four okay yeah two four okay so ff3 two four and it has a follow-up as you can see. Alright, so what are we doing now? Alright, so it hits, backdash. So we're just getting used, we're trying to get used to punishing uh, this mid-mid. And as you can see, this string here is, is another factor. So you have to get used to this first part because it's obviously different than a kick, right? It's not a kick, so so if I see that it's not a kick attack here, then I should be able to duck near enough on reaction, near enough on reaction, but more of an anticipation thing. Okay, so punish. 
There we go. We got the duck. Duck. Launch. Duck. I messed up my punish. It's fine. Duck. Punish. Kick. And I ducked because I'm still. I'm just not used to it. It's so you have to practice this. This is the type of practice you have to put into play if you want to deal with this character properly. Kick. Ah, oh, ducked. I don't know why. All right. Duck. Punish. We need to get this consistent. Let's say. Let's try aim for five. Launch. Yep. Kick. Punish. Duck. 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 Kick. Punish. Kick. Punish. Duck. Punish. So, as you can see, this here has been given Eddie's life because no one is even ducking in that situation. Like, they just don't actually know what's going on. And then some people will let the mid-mid go because they're not used to punishing it yet. So, you have to get used to punishing these things. I'm going to add another thing to the mix as well. So, FF3. 3-3, free. Free, free, which is the hell suit. So, let's just take a look at this for a sec. So, backdash. Messes up. Backdash. Again, get it clipped. Okay, I don't seem to be able to get out of range of this. It seems to always be clean here. There might not be counterplay to this. Okay, so in order to get out of it, you have to have already backdashed. So if I haven't backdashed, as they've done the attack, I can't get out of the clean it range. And if he does it up close, I'm basically done. So yeah, if you're like backdash cancelling and it hits you tip range, then yeah, cool. Then you can kind of uh, go into defense mode against these other moves. But as you can see, like you can see why it's so strong. So let's try to deal with this now. Okay, punish. Look, like it's so confusing because I'm just not used to it. Okay, punish. Okay, hell sweep just hits. Alright, punish. 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 Punish again. Punish. Ducking is just not a good option because like... If you duck and get hit by the heat engager, it is natural, so you have to kind of hold that. Okay, we saw the hand and we ducked. It's so confusing, man. It's so confusing and that's, that sweep is so cheap. I wasn't ready to duck. So in real time, you're seeing just how it, it, hard it is to lab a new character because you need to get used to the new animations that they have. It's so awkward. Like this hell sweep that Eddie has, like he didn't have it before. I'm trying to get used to reacting to the fact that they didn't do a kick in that scenario. Like it's possible, clearly, but it's just very difficult. And obviously you can get a better punish on some of these moves with like up forward one two, but I'm just trying to use a reliable punish. Like they're all minus 13. So I can go for this and I can go like lightning, uh, lightning glare as well if I want as a punish so yeah that's a few situations I think those are the most important important situations to talk about because this is all they're doing like it's ridiculous uh, let me look at another sequence from an actual game as well so this part will be uh, cut obviously okay so we're gonna talk about um, obviously what happened in a set against an Eddie player just so that we can look at other situations as well because I don't know Eddie too well myself. Round one. So let's take a look, see what issues we kind of uh, 
face in the matchup. Okay, so this scenario, let's let's look at this scenario just as an example. So he's gonna do a plus move here. Okay, so he does a plus move here, and let let me pause. So like, let's look back to the situation that we did earlier with the FF three, which was the low, into the hell sweep, into the mid high, <clears throat> and also also into the mid mid. <clears throat> so let, let's apply that that to this situation here. All right, so he does a plus move. I backdash. Let's see, can we backdash out of this clean hit range? Doesn't seem like it. And I'm guessing it puts you in crouch as well. Yeah, so this situation you have to guess, I believe. That's what it seems like. Yeah, like Leo cannot get out of this clean hit range. Can't sidestep Evo. Sidestepping is not an option. Okay, so if you want to be able to, no, but it doesn't make sense. Yeah, there's, you have to, you have to guess. You have to guess in this situation, unfortunately. So th this is why I'm saying to people that like Eddie is so strong because it is not hard for him to to land this move on block. It is not hard at all. So it's just difficult. It's really difficult to do with. Like you can hot kick on a read, which isn't terrible. And obviously, if they go for the mids and stuff, you might be floated, so you can kind of handle it that way to kind of uh, change the risk reward factor. So, and also, you had heat burst as well. Like, if they do the mid heat engager and you do heat burst, you get a full launch. So, there's that as well. So, there is some defensive mech, like defensive play, but let's, let's continue through. Okay, so when an Eddie, when an Eddie transitions into heat, they tend to go for this really long range high attack, uh, which costs them heat. So what I was thinking is that, sorry, hold on. On a read, you could call them out with like a bot two. You could hard duck as well and just punish. But the thing, I feel like Bok is a good idea because you can kind of see what they do and then potentially, uh, you can potentially get some form of a reward. Like, I don't think you should mindlessly do it because they can just do heat, heat smash, which will obviously blow us up. But I think if they're really predictable with what they go for, then it's not bad to just throw out a uh, Bok and then one plus two. But like I said, I don't know at the same time. Furthermore, it's too dangerous to do that because when people see movement and they have heat available, the first thought is to use a heat smash. So it's very hard to call out this attack. This attack is ridiculous. Like the range is absolutely outrageous. Like let me let me duck. There's no like that would probably work from like range range four. Like range four, he would just get in for free and then mix you potentially. Also, he has a. A move like Laws, which is a uh, one plus two. It's not one plus two for Eddie, but it's like three plus four for Eddie. And it's similar to Laws Nunchucks attack, where he just launches you, or it's very plus on block. So he has some very scary stuff, to be honest. Like I just want let, let me let, let's let's carry on, let's carry on, let's carry on, because I I want to try and give more information where I can. Round two, fight. As you can see, this is what I mean about predictability. Like, both times he's gone into heat uh, straight away, he's gone for the high, uh, big range attack. So again, bot could have been viable or I could have ducked. Like, this is a very common thing. If you're at a distance, you can kind of predict it and then obviously practice punishing it because it might linger for a little bit with how moves work on this game. 
So yeah, as you can see, whenever there's a distance, he wants to use this move to get in. So I can see that and punish him, you know, accordingly. Like, there's no other move that is going to get in like that for free. So yeah. When they transition into heat, that's the type of stuff they're going to be doing. Let's see if we can get one more annoying scenario. Let me go to like the final round because I'd imagine like the final round is probably some kind of cheesy stuff. Like I'm not familiar with Eddie in it, so for now it is cheese. Okay, so let's see. Let's look at this plus six move. So this is full crouch down forward three. After this, he just goes for a poke. Uh, unsteppable, I'm guessing. Um, the thing with this poke is that the follow-up is a counter launcher, so you can't just punish it. Unfortunately, you have to be patient with it. You can do a low parry, but like, he's in relax, which means, you know, he can go for all of them situations that we spoke about before. He can do the mid-mid heat engager, which is natural combo. You know, the mid-high string that we can duck if we realize, you know, it's not a kick. Uh, and then obviously the hell sweep as well. So it's just a... It's just a mad situation. There's a lot of guessing situations against Eddie. That's what it feels like. It's very tough to deal with. And uh, another layer added because like if we just backdash, they will start moving forward and relax, which is another layer to the to the mind game. Like it's very, it's very tough to deal with. Like, like let's say I do backdash out of clean hit range, cool. But during that backdash, I'm giving the Eddie free rain to just come in and just you know be in clean it range to then have a scary 50 50. so yeah cooling out with hot kicks at times heat burst it's not a terrible decision but like the way we have to defend against eddie is just wild it's a lot of hard reads it's a lot of um i guess trying to condition them into using their attack straight away instead of you know getting in and literally putting us in a can 50 50 so yeah we need to add more layers to it we need to sometimes back that sometimes hop kick sometimes heat burst you know mix up our options but that's just the game that we played today that this is what tekken 8 is about to be honest so it's one of them things we have to get used to dealing with it and i think with time we'll get used to playing against eddie and punishing better and stuff but yeah i think this is a more in-depth thing on like in-depth video on things you can do in the matchup at least uh, but yeah, other than that, I would say obviously have fun with it. He's just come out, you know, everyone needs time to get used to him. So yeah, I didn't want to really just bring out a punishment thing. I think I'd rather talk about the things that they're abusing and how to kind of hand manage those moves or manage those situations. So yeah, I hope this uh, video, you know, reaches you well and you can kind of understand what I mean uh, with everything I've said. But yeah, other than that, take it easy, everyone. And... I'll see you in the next video.